we oftentimes want to try perennials in our landscapes uh, or in our yards that are interesting to us but that may not be hardy enough. We can enjoy those in our landscapes for the summer, but if you are interested in continuing to enjoy those for years to come, there are many perennial plants uh, in other parts of the country it would make great house plants for us to keep indoors. And there are a few green industry businesses across the state who also will overwinter plants for uh, customers. This, for instance, is a lantana. It does attract pollinators and it's a very fragrant plant. This is an oleander plant, which does have some toxic issues. You want to make sure that if you're going to keep it around, you um, keep it away from children. Bougainvillea is one that I saw growing in Mexico. And then hibiscus is one right behind me that uh, you see growing on the beaches in many places um, like Hawaii or Mexico, and oftentimes we'll even find in places like Texas and California. Some of them will bloom during the winter months and depending upon the space that you have and the lighting you have, um, you may be able to keep them blooming in the winter months. Um, otherwise, you may want to prune them back and then when you bring them into our dry, warm environment indoors, keeping them well watered, um, plenty of sunlight will help to maintain them through, through the winter until you can get them back outdoors and enjoy them in their summer season. For the University of Wyoming Extension, I'm Donna Hoffman, and you're watching From the Ground Up.